Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. It is lovely to have you here and it is lovely to be here with you. Now I'll start out with an apology because I didn't um, put a film up yesterday. I I just didn't feel like it basically. No, no other more excuses. I lost my crafting mojo. I didn't want to come into my room and craft. Um, it's got to happen occasionally, hasn't it? I, you know, I do nearly every single day. So, um, yeah, rather than beating myself up about it and then not wanting to come in the next day and the next day, I just, I just didn't come in. So I, I sat in the garden. I did all sorts of little things around the house. Um, yeah, just busy, busy day and, and didn't get anything done. So yeah, maybe one day I'll film ahead and then those things won't matter, but <laughs> it doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. And again, I'm not beating myself up for that either so yeah sorry about that because I said I was going to come on actually I said I was going to come on and talk about um, the next giveaway journal so which I am <laughs> today um, so I've made this so far the corners are on but I've not glued them on so they do move about I'm oops I think that's the right way up yeah I'm pretty sure I shared this um, cover with you before it was folded over and stitched so uh, it's just again it's just a one signature journal and um, just for postage reasons for me really i'd love to make a big three signature one and and give it away but you know i want i want people from all countries <laughs> to have an equal an equal dibs um especially those of you that are that are with me you know every single day and there are a lot a lot of in england there are a lot in wales there are a lot in america um australia you know all those places so canada yeah everyone everyone's equal in my eyes so i want you all to have an equal dib so yeah um it would cost a fortune for me to send a, a big three signature one so a single signature it is but sometimes these are the nice ones i'm i'm thoroughly um into the one that i'm making for my uh, my holiday which i keep saying is eight weeks away or seven weeks away or something and it's now we think it's only five because <laughs> we're going at the beginning of july we've only got june haven't we really now so um so if you want to be entered to win this, um, let me show, talk, show you through it as I'm talking. So it's one of my uh, grungy journals, but it's summer grunge or floral grunge, whichever um, you want. So we've got the um, country diary image. Um, what's the name? Edith Holden image. These are um, pages from Edith Holden's CD-ROM, um, which were quite pale and I've coffee dyed them all and I love them. You know, so maybe it's not your thing. <laughs> some people love the grunge, some don't. Um, yeah, but you can see. Yeah, so all the ones that look like that, the florally ones, not that one. That's one of um, Tanya at Tatty Treasure and Nanine at Collage Types um, images. The others, um, yeah, are they from the CD-ROM? Um, Edith Holden, that's it. Music paper, another one of those. Page from the um, Rose sorry about the I've got the window open and the uh, the door is banging ever so slightly you might not even be able to hear it I don't know um yeah the July page from Edith Holden didn't I have other past a page that I haven't talked about I thought I'd another book page in here yes this one so this beautiful I'll show you the other side in a minute but this is from the Laura Ashley at home book that I've got and this is like a beautiful sunroom conservatory um gorgeous so i have I must have passed it yeah there look there's the other side of it yeah so the other side obviously is for covering or, or whatever so there are i think i've put 12 pages in it which is around what i usually do 13 is the max maximum for a for a um a single signature journal so what i want you to do is write in the comment of this video um if you won this journal would you like to have a naked journal or would you like to have it decorated by me now i will decorate the outside um, i will put a closure lace down the spine and um, a topper on it but as regards the pages inside would you then like to you know have them naked like this and play with them yourself or would you like me to decorate them for you now obviously i will go with the majority because i'll decide that before i draw draw it so it might be that you say you want it naked and most people wanted it filled and then when i draw it you know i've got to decide before i draw it so it's ready to go you know so if most people say filled i'll fill it and then if i draw it and you <laughs> you pick naked but i've filled it that that's the way is that complicated i hope not 
Anyway, so I will assume you want to be entered if you leave me a comment saying whether you would prefer a naked journal should you win it or one embellished by me. Okay, so that's, um, you know, if you've just put please enter me or anything like that, it won't count. You've got to have listened to the instructions this time. <laughs> yeah, and um, I say it this time, you did last time as well. I'm not, I'm not telling you off. And yeah, let's move on because it's it's time for a video so because i haven't been crafting uh, for a couple of days i haven't got anything planned out i mean we are in the middle of two journals of course we are but it's the weekend it's the weekend on neil's home too so what i thought was i'd play from the scrap box which most people usually like don't they and i only thought about it this morning because i didn't tell myself yesterday whether i was going to come on and craft or not so I was only this morning thinking, right, what shall I do? I'll get the craft box out, uh, scrap box out, what will I do? And the only idea I've come up with is perhaps collaging some pieces like this um, and creating some envelopes with it. Envelopes or maybe file folders or things, you know, just literally playing um, without any very much forethought. So I'm just digging to see what's on the top here. Lots of coffee dyed, some lovely book page there. That might make a nice uh, envelope on its own. The, th oh. the thing about book page is, no, um, you know, you have upside down writing when you when you make a page into an envelope. Whereas if you collage in it, you don't, do you? So let's do this one first. Let's have that lovely colour on the inside. Seeing as this is about the size I would probably be looking for. Uh, need a bone folder. So I hope you're all well. Like I say, I'm not. Um, I'm not poorly. Just I'm just feeling like that. I don't know if it's change of season or, you know, could be hormones. We, you know, we think about um, teenagers, don't we? And um, you know, sort of menopause for hormones we don't think about them the rest of the time but we, we do have them all the time i don't know maybe it's that what you know what does affect your mood i wasn't depressed or anything like that but i was very lethargic i didn't particularly want to do anything which is why i just i just potted around and sat in the garden i couldn't stick anything too long that's just kind of the the mood i was in so yeah, he wouldn't have been a good time to come on and and uh, and film anyway. So um, whether I'll stitch them or not, I don't know. I'm going to corner that flap round the flap corner <laughs> like that. I probably should have done it after I'd collaged it, but let's see. So let's start collaging with whatever we've got here. Then let's. Um, I'm just going to do a really random one to start with. Yeah, I'll use art glitter, I think. I've got a bit missing off there. It will do. Yeah, I'll probably be trimming it again, won't I? I don't know why I trimmed it, to be honest. But, you know, until I get my brain... Right, so this one is this way up. That's probably what I want to think about. Until I get my brain back in the game. I'll have some of this uh, lovely text. It's from the... Um, the diary with Edith Holden um, images in it, but you know, not not her diary. The I think it might be a gardening diary or something like that. I think I like that on there, but I want something under here. That's all quite thick. Um, let me just move that off there. I should have bought my box with all my little bits, shouldn't I? Let's just see if it's reachable. It is. It is. I've got my microphone wire in an awful taffle. Oh. Let's just grab a few bits to the top like that. Can you see them there? Ish, a little bit, can't you? Okay, I'll put a bit of this. That's nice. Let's get this dotty under there then. I am going with just little pieces because uh, it's a smallish, it's going to be a smallish completed piece, isn't it? I'm quite liking it without the inking as well. 
for this one. I can't say I'll do them all without inking. It's about lawn and grass and weeds. That's really nice there. Look, it's been inked and everything, so I am the right way, aren't I? You are the right way up. Yes, you are. So we'll have that one in there when we get to it, but as soon as the rest of it's inked, I'll have that bit inked as well. Okay, that's pretty. Um, this is nice, isn't it? It's fairly thick, but... There's a little bit of white there that I didn't, wasn't overly keen. A bit too much white. So they're always handy, um, these sort of envelopes that you make yourself for, um, for happy mail if you don't put them in your journals. Yep, so do I just want one piece of something there? That's quite nice, isn't it? Quite big enough. Oh, it is just, but just, just. Where do I want to go to about that? Yeah, it is. I think it's a page of my pink paper that I've coffee dyed. It's gone quite dark. Is that why we said? I don't know if that's a gap there or if it's the paper, but if it is a gap, it's not a horrible colour, <laughs> the background, so. Yeah, so Neil's at home. He wasn't at home yesterday when I was having me. <laughs> what was I? I was in a funk, I think. <laughs> Didn't know what to do with myself. Doesn't happen very often, but um, yeah, he's at home today, so. We're going shopping soon. Just don't particularly want to, just for a few bits of a food, <laughs> not exciting shopping, food shopping, yeah, like that. So what should I have on the flap? I think I might like a full piece of something. Oh, that's so nearly there, look. I love the colour of it. Got one of these strips from my Happy Mail from Tanya. Not quite wide enough. Oh, look. Would you believe? Would you believe that it was folded over? Yeah. Okay. So I think if I if I ink this, ink it, glue it, and stick it on, then I can trim round it again, can't I? Just make sure I'm the right way round. That way. Oops. not on the crease because I want it to crease yeah that's lovely so you either want to be just before it or over it so it will completely bend where's the little tiddlers there they are let's see how good I can be now it's handy that that's quite a strong colour inside <laughs> so I can see exactly where I need to be cutting I hope I'm in film in view Oops. Yeah. Not exactly the same shape, but not far off. Yeah, I like that. Lots of pastel -y colours going on. I don't want to... I've re-inked my pad because I've left it open <laughs> all yesterday without using it. I quite like that plain back. I might just put um, you know, something in the middle as opposed to um, collage it. We've got something that will go pretty in the middle. Um, have a look what's on the desk. No, not that sort of thing. And I've got some it's the size I can't tell. I maybe ought to hack these out a bit. They're just photocopies of my uh, some of my own uh, yes what's it called 
it's ephemera but vintage ephemera that's it vintage pieces i'm not sure if i want them on there but i'll just get a better idea of the ever size when i do use them if i can just go get them a bit better shaped that's it actually i think they were scanned yeah they were scanned and, and printed not photocopied I wouldn't photocopy that well on my printer. There we go. Got rid of, got rid of those bits. Quite nice, isn't it? That. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I want a pretty piece of something. Let's pull this in and have a look. Oh, I've got all these in here. Look, I don't think they were supposed to be in there, but. So yeah, we're that way up. These are the perfume ads from. Uh, from Tanya's shop, Tatty. Now, uh, yeah, they're in a shop. They are in a shop now, Tatty Treasure. So we could have a lady. Circle would be nice, wouldn't it? Kind of florally. If we keep it florally, it might. This one might go in the um, the giveaway journal. Those violets are nice as well. Yeah, um, I mean you could stick it down on a page this or you could have it you know going in a pocket couldn't you yeah let's just put those on them so I'm just going to ever so lightly whoops that's it grungy it up <laughs> that's what I was doing I put one on the front next time Should I go in the middle or to the side? I'm going to go to the side. Some lines stamped or drawn on there might be nice, might they? So, um, I've got room for a teeny tiny little, oh dear, nibble out, nothing too much. I don't know if that's the middle. You know, just a, a grab hold, thumb hold. Yeah, it is tiny, but it may, it will make all the difference because if I stitch that, we will need that, won't we? That needs a bit of ink around it as well. Maybe that crease there. I feel like I've got the black dobber. I have. <laughs> That's why you felt like you had. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I think stitched it'd be nice. Um, yeah. Decide whether I want one of those on when it's stitched, so. Okay. Um, I just need another piece of paper now to make a... This is very, very crunchy dark, so let's make a dark one, shall we? Oh, I can hear it. So I'll have quite a big flap at all. It. And then this time I'm just going to oh, probably need to trim that edge. Yep, I'm going to do it with the scissors though, I think, unless it goes horribly wrong. Where are we? About there. It's that thing of cutting three, three pieces all together, they move, don't they? I don't want the, the top one at an angle. Yeah, I think that's it. Now I'm just going to put the top two together like that. Yep, that way the curve matches, but it's a hand cut one, so if you don't have a you know a corner punch. You can still make the fancy corners. It's covering just, only just. Might show there a bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a bigger chunk in it. I'm just wondering if I might do the same again and just put a piece, a piece on the back. I mean, it's lovely paper, isn't it? It's a shame to cover it all. 
it is a bit crinkly crunchy I see it's got a bit of a stencil going through it as well can you, I don't know if you can see the swirls there so didn't do that very well did I get the black then let's move that black one out it's still not there I didn't want it to have a real uniform edge but the rest of it hasn't so that's better that dob is a better colour and I think it goes that way up but let's have some ink on that you move out the way and let me in so like I say I've re-inked so I've got to be careful I just need to show myself where the edge is I suppose it can be dark on here because it's a dark piece lovely on a nice white lacy page that's it now I can see where the edges are yep and I'm going to after all that <laughs> I'm going to tear this edge a bit oops not that much yeah I like it I can still see that that swirly um, bit in there hope you're near enough be nice um, journaling spot that actually if you had it you know that went in and out of a pocket as opposed to stuck down you could journal on either either side there really like that I'm really pleased with that it's a nice black thread down it I think okay so let's ink in there again so I can see where it is inked me now <laughs> yeah I started to tell you that Neil was here didn't I he's been gardening I think it's too hot it's very very hot it's 23 degrees today so uh, it's sat in our front room which is quite cool the kitchen very very hot front room at the front of the house like it's under me so I'm at the front of the house oh look that beautiful rabbit is going to be hidden though so let's have the clock um, where am I <laughs> so yeah it's coolish in here at the moment because um, I've got a nice breeze with the window open and the sun isn't on the front yet it's on the back I mean it'll be coming, it'll be coming this way because it is about 12 o'clock um, yeah and it will get really hot I'll shut my curtains as I leave <laughs> to try and shade it a little bit so yeah he sat um, in, the, in the front room with the cat on his knee when I came up here which is strange <laughs> because he spent all morning in the greenhouse we don't know how because it is roasting I can't I can't even go in and dye paper at the moment because when you've been stood in there more than three minutes you're ready to pass out and that's with the doors and windows open so I might do some at tea time when it's cooled a bit it won't be in direct sun then but um, it'll still be warm so it'll still dry I've got a cloth. Now I'm thinking and I would like a nice flower or something on there. Um, have I got any flowers? Yes, that I can reach. I have. Oh, can reach them but can't open them. <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. I'd like a pink rose. I'm going to have to cut some more of these out. And I keep using all the pink ones. Oh, pinkish. I think I've got one favourite one. <laughs> oh, these are quite nice because they're a bit muted, aren't they? Mm, maybe. I'm still thinking pink at the moment. What are you? Oh, you're nice. Chrysanthemums? No, I definitely want rose. So what have I got to choose from? darkish green one they're both the same aren't they that's pinkish right Jace, that's a ch that's enough <laughs> too much choice so yeah I'm not liking that red one on here I do like that pink one but it's got all that white behind it to deal with hasn't it so I'm thinking if I dock to this one a little bit I hear the pigeons cooing away and some other cheaping 
I've still got the issue with the uh, the magpie screaming at, at Simba first thing in the morning. I go down and let him out and within about 20 minutes they're screaming the head off on the top right above our bedroom window on our roof and he's just, bless him, sat in the garden because he's only just got up, just enjoying the cool morning. What what? He doesn't look at the bird at all, completely ignores it, but what he's actually thinking, I don't know. Probably the same as us. Shut the goodness sake up. <laughs> Nothing we can do about it. Sorry, if I'm boring, you're just taking this bit of extra white off. It was a bit too white in places for my grungy envelope. Okay, and then do it on this. It's white little bin there. Because I'm not I'm not in the mood for putting me my, my scissors in. Oh you're you're supposed to be there. I'm cutting out those little teeny tiny bits. There we go. Okay. Oh, did cut a lot of teeny tiny bits off, didn't I? So now, now I like it from there. Oh yeah, it's mostly going to be on show. Just going to cut the uh, that down a little bit more, so it can go a tad lower. Yes, I like it. So the clock and the rabbit is from the William Morris kit. Hmm. No, I think it. No, it's not. It's from the um, down the rabbit hole kit collaboration with Touch Treasure and Collage Type. There are some images of that rabbit in the William Morris kit. Okay, well, I can just cull some of those white bits in now. What was stuck up there, you? Okay, so again, I quite like the um, flap so we don't necessarily have to cover it all. Just see what grubs are fancy. A strip of all pretty paper pattern. You know, just plain. Oh I like this. I'm trying to think what book that's off. Can't remember. Um, yeah, I probably don't need it all, do I? Save a bit for another day. <laughs> and it's definitely too big. Oh, it's music, that's it, it's from the front of a music book. And this time I'm even going to leave that, um, I'll call it white, but it's not white, the cream edge, which is the same cream, the, you know, as the paper. Yeah, like that. Because it uh, is a contrast from the, the grungy flap. I think I might have been just a bit hot and bothered yesterday. I'm not as hot today, I have to say, as I was yesterday. Just wondering if I'd like something to the side of there. Well, I would. I'm just wondering what I'd like to the side of there. That's a word, a piece of text, a number. A number might be nice. them out look look at those look at those how impressed won't always stay like that but I'm liking these I think they are from a kit those by Tanya and Nanine I'm just trying to think which one they came in could why won't you go in don't then <laughs> what could it have been um yeah, it could have been the, the gentleman kit because that was had sort of industrially stuff in as well, didn't it? Yeah, just in that corner, that's it. Like that. Hmm, like it. 
so two completely different so that's sort of pastely and that could do with something on there now couldn't it i'm thinking a label would be nice on here let's bear with me again i've got i've got another set of these plastic drawers now more than i you know another one i already had three i've now got four what am i looking for a big label a biggish one I just pulled the, the ones I use mostly out of the out of the big box because the big box was pretty full but guess what I'm going for now <laughs> the big box but at least I can move in it now those those fewer out yeah, I was wondering about something like that Keep covering everything up though oh no quite like it I'll just try one slightly smaller and see Maybe one of these, perhaps. I think I said last time I need to print some more of these off, didn't I? Yeah, I think I like that one better. Just to see a bit more of the. Um... Oh my goodness me! Have you got a headache now? Sorry, I whacked you with the box. Did you gather? a bit more of the um, collage can't we? Right where we're we going to put it? Centre or off centre? Um, I think off centre. I'm going to cover that dotty up all together now. Never mind. Oh. There's a little stamp just sitting here on my desk. Oops. I'm wondering if to add it or not. Oh, it's two. Two little stumps. A little flap there. Yeah, I'm going to use it up. It's got one of those little sticky things on it from an album. Use it up, but now there's another one there. <laughs> so you didn't really. Okay, two. Been half an hour, but I've chatted a little bit, haven't I, about the... Um, the giveaway so let's see if we can get another one done what bits of paper i've got bright pink that one's going to be a bit small isn't it what have i got in here some brown i don't think it's big enough no like Amazon packaging. Sorry about the noise. Drove you mad. Okay. You'd think I'd have a shortage of paper, wouldn't you? I'm just looking for one that's gonna grab my um not my attention. Let's use a piece of this. I'm not overly overly keen on the images to be honest. Um yeah, that could be the inside, can't it? Because it's plain. So I'm going to cut it on this because it just makes life so much easier. And um, yeah, it's quite a big one, this one. Do both edges and then we know we're square with my fold even if my fold wasn't just looking at this this is rather nice and look at that another piece that fits not quite on the back but it is a nice <clears throat> width right I'm going to put that down and I'm going to use Kalal. It's quite a thick book page, it is shiny. And this is quite thick uh, scrapbooking paper as well. Stamperia. So I don't need it quite to the edges, but I need it top and bottom. I'm 
even just enough room so that it can I don't know, it's not going to fold the bottom is it? It's the top that needs to fold so I'm not, I'll move it down a bit you can do that with Kalal so I'll let that dry I think before I uh, that is the right way around isn't it? Yeah. so I am going to put a strip across the top but I'm going to let that dry before I cut that off and then we'll put a strip on the top so we'll do a little bit of something on here it's a nice thin piece thin paper that is <laughs> Can't see where the edge is. Oh. Out there. Just having a look out the window then, I was just daydreaming. <laughs> There's uh I can see a few it's a small wind farm, so it's a fair way away but I can see them because they're big aren't they? And there's just one one all on its own turning and the other there's only about five that i can say the others are all stood still and i was just wondering why it's funny how our brains wander onto these things why would one work and not the others do you suppose got a crease denise why did you do that because it's our glitter it's gone we're all right oh Oh no, it's still there. Oh, you little devil. To be honest, it, the paper is so fine, it's it's barely a bump. You can see it more than you can feel it, actually. Yep, like that. Um, don't want any more of that. Let's go for something different. What have we got that's different? Papers wise. I think because I'm keeping the scrap papers to the kits that I'm using you know together in their kit boxes now so there's less oh here we go look there's less uh, paper scraps at the moment in the box you know colourful ones like these and I think these were little pieces that were gifted to me beautiful aren't they yeah I'm pretty sure these were from probably Tanya I'm guessing very cute and ditzy put them all back together don't separate them they're gonna make something really nice so we're just the thing that's why I've got them in there with the little pieces well that's a piece of scrapbooking paper no nope. mm. quite like that one let's leave that one out then but the rest are a no that's nice oh both sides are nice you've got a right way up my eyes yes I think that's the right way up so how about that one there we're doing some squares aren't we not quite big enough need something in between but let's put this down in between our on top oops very fine paper and I turned it around no I think that's the right way have I gone off the edge yes good job that slid a little bit then <laughs> yes I'm gonna cut you off in a minute you're nearly dry but not quite so yes I'm thinking that one up there I just want a strip of something across the middle a little bit of text shall we go with a little bit of what's his name trying to work out what it was saying but there's nothing really decipherable something about manners in a man's hand <laughs> nothing worth repeating to you yeah 
and I'm just going to soften that edge ever so slightly. I think. Yeah, they're very quick and easy to make these. So let's get this cut off now. Use my old scissors because it's starting to. It's tacky, so it's grabbing everything. That's it. That's it. You're done. I didn't uh, didn't trim any edges on this one, did I? You don't have to. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll cover it with whatever I'm covering it with, and then I'll just nip the very tiny, very tiny edges off. Okay, so I want to cover it all because it is upside down. And um, yeah, it's nothing very pretty. Just spotted that sitting there. And that'll be perfect. Oh, I haven't done that back bit yet. Could you have I turned it over? I'd have forgotten. I got about 30 seconds, I was quick <laughs> before it's set. Yep, you can see the picture a little bit. I could have probably done with that one up a bit. It may be moved when I opened it, it's not so bad. have a look when we're done because we're putting a piece on here we could always have a piece of it going over both couldn't we that's a good idea so it's going to be if I need it to go over it really ought to be non what's the word When, it, when it's, yeah, what is the word? When the pattern doesn't matter which way up it goes. Who knows? No, not liking that anyway. Um, so, got some doily there that could go over it. That's got this lovely, that's nice, edging. And a little bow in there. Anything else edging wise? Some pretty pretty bits at the bottom. I didn't quite get to the bottom. Never mind. Um don't dislike that on it, but a piece of this. I think that covers that better, doesn't it? I need to really ink this edge so that I can I can see it when it's open. Okay, so it needs to be straight really. Straightish to go along the edge the top of the envelope. Banana. Could it way too short? <laughs> Never mind. We'll work with it. I'm used to working with it. I'm always doing daft things like that. Well, is it daft? Just human errors, aren't they? Okay, pull this one up to this edge. Because like I say, I might have a piece of that over it anyway. I'll just put another bit on. Why not? And then perhaps a piece of this. Go 
because that will fold easily won't it will even hide that look yeah all I've got to do now is get some glue on it pretty very pretty and as I always say playing with your scraps very much fun once I get going I really enjoy it I maybe should have got them out yesterday but that's it that's bent no problem so I can cut that off or I can glue it round we'll try gluing it see what it does if it won't play we'll cut it off <laughs> drastic measures there's my door banging again so there must be a bit of a breeze out there nice to know yeah it's got a little bit of a ridge when it opens but that's fine so yeah I'm just going to like you do on a, uh, a tag I'm just going to cut that off there and then use it to get the same shape this side Ooh. and I'll show you them tomorrow when I uh, when I do scraps on Sunday video I'll have these stitched by then I hope we are going to car boot tomorrow just wondering where the other two have gone now I just kept shoving didn't I there they are <laughs> so all the scraps you see can stay out for Sunday's video right just not decided whether I suppose I'll have to stitch them first and see what have I done with me bone folder if they're going to need their flaps you know something closure wise on them I think that one's going to be fine this one's quite thick and it could always have a just a paper clip on it this one's thick because it's still wet yeah so I'll see when they're stitched I have a feeling this one might need something on it could always put a um, oh, paper clip yes I've got the right word Yay. paper clip on it which is always as good as anything isn't it to hold your flap down in the middle yes I think those two will be fine I'll decide about that one when I've them um, when I've stitched it okay so thank you for joining me um, I hope you've enjoyed just playing with the scraps um, remember about the journal wherever I put it who knows <laughs> somewhere I'll have moved it out of the way to make room oh here it is yeah so if you want to be entered for it um, write in the comments please a comment about whether you would prefer a naked journal and either way you won't offend me either way it's really your preference that I'm interested in um, it will help me for future reference as well if you'd like um, you know a naked journal to uh, do some bits in obviously I'll send you some bits and pieces to put in it or if you'd like to see it fully embellished I, I do one or the other there's no half half measures so I hope you have a lovely weekend like I say I'll be back hopefully on top form tomorrow with some uh, scraps on Sunday and uh, yeah then we'll get back on with these these journals okay see you soon bye for now